This video is supported by TBC Live. Check out the TBC Live on the App Store or the Google Play Store. It's an app to enjoy NRL with friends while the game is going. You comment what's going to happen next and you thumbs up and thumbs down if you disagree or agree with people. There's great rewards to win every week and your favourite content creators, including me, are on the app. So check out TBC Live today. Well, round number five was a crazy round of football with wet weather, with some big upsets throughout the weekend, with some blowout scores. You know, teams are scoring high points. And look, I'll speak about those games throughout the video, but I went five from eight, I think, for the week. I got three games wrong there, a couple of 50-50 ones there that I got wrong. And uh, it all starts on Thursday night at Newcastle, McDonald Jones Stadium, when the Newcastle Knights take on the Sydney Roosters. So it all kicks off on Thursday night with the Roosters taking on the Newcastle Knights and the Roosters, they will be without some of their big names. Dominic Young has been suspended. James Tedesco and Sam Walker are out due to concussion for this game. As for the Newcastle Knights, there's an interesting one for me. Tom Jenkins named in the starting side. Greg Marju named on the reserves. I think Greg Marju might come into that side which will definitely boost the Newcastle Knights. And Ari Tuala had a blinder on the wing last week in the, the wet weather, so we'll see if he can back up that game. Kalen Ponga involved as always, and great to see Cogger and Hastings in the halves. Looks like that combination uh, going forward with Tyson Gamble still named on the reserves for this one. So yeah, it's going to be tough for the Roosters here at Newcastle in front of the home crowd. Not sure what the weather's like. It's raining up here at the moment, which is pretty close to Newcastle. But uh, Roosters, you know, you've got Manu at fullback, Michael Jennings, Swali'i in the centres. Michael Jennings playing his 300th game of NRL this weekend, so massive milestone there for Michael. Unfortunately, he won't get the match ball, but, you know, people will give him recognition over the weekend. Um, and look, if you want to start the argument... Oh, he doesn't deserve recognition. He's been cleared to play NRL. For me, that's enough. Um, if he wasn't cleared to play NRL, fair enough. Uh, Tupanua, Tyrrell May, Nafua White, and Zach Docker Clay have been named. So Connor Watson, Kiri in the halves, nice there. Uh, Egan Butcher, after scoring a double last week, is named on the reserves. Interesting. Um, yeah, it was a, a weird game, that Roosters-Bulldogs game. Lots of injury, lots of errors. The Bulldogs um, had a big score on the Roosters, and then the Roosters came to get them. They put in a really good fight um, without some of their players, whereas Newcastle Knights put a bigger score than expected on the Dragons. They just capitalised off poor Dragons' errors in their own half. So it should be a tight game, and uh, Newcastle going to his favourites deservedly so, but... Uh, I'm going to tip the Roosters here by six. I think I've seen more from the Roosters this season than I have from Newcastle. I know the home factor is definitely going to play into it and a full-strength kind of side, but I'm not convinced by the Knights just as of yet. If they can beat the Roosters and go on a bit of a run, maybe their top eight material, but right now I just don't think they're there yet. So, yeah, the Roosters to win by six. I feel like this should be a low-scoring game with some of the players that are out. Um, Greg Marju, I reckon he'll come in. That's my call for the game. Uh, Roosters to win 20 points to 14, so the Roosters by six. My first try scorer, I'm going to go with Junior Pauga coming back into that Roosters side to cross over for the first try of the round. Next up, it is the Melbourne Storm, and they take on the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. The Bulldogs, much like the Roosters, will be missing some key men this weekend. Blake Taft, Kurt Mann, Harrison Edwards, all out for this one. Nelson Asopha Solomona, named on the reserves. Really interesting there for the Melbourne Storm. It's Wishart, Welch, Maroa, and Alec McDonald named on the bench for this one. Sean Bloor, named in jersey number 11 again. And that looks like the only changes there. Stephen Crichton moving into fullback. I'm looking forward to this one. He's going to get more ball for the Bulldogs. Bronson Cherry once again in the centres. He was a late call-up last week. Josh Adokar named in jersey number five. I just never know when Josh Adokar is playing 
Weird bench for the Bulldogs of Hayward, Farmasule, uh, Samuel Hughes, and Katoga. So it's a really interesting, and again, Toby Sexton, 18th man or 19th man overlooked for the club for this one. Well, the Storm, they didn't look great against the Broncos. I know their attack was fairly good, scoring high points, but they still conceded some a lot of points, and that worries me because I've done that a couple of times this year. So this should be a good game. Um, the changes to the Bulldogs as well make it really, really interesting. You know, we saw a great performance from them last week. They got the win. Can they back it up? Week in the second half, you know, weak defence. So they're going to be fired up for this one, I think. And I think a lot of people are going to go Storm by 40. I'm going to go the Storm by 16. I still think the Storm will win just 13 plus. I think they'll just be able to win 13 plus. But I'm going to go the Storm to win 26 points to 10. My first try scorer for the match. I'm going to go Harry Grant from the Melbourne Storm. Harry Houdini to score in this game for the first try. Harry Grant. And he used to play for the Melbourne Storm. So I'm going to back Josh Addo Carr to score a try at any time. But I think the Storm should be beating the Dogs. Well, at the moment, it is the Brisbane Broncos sitting lower on the ladder. Uh, going up against the Dolphins, who sit first on the ladder at present. And the Dolphins are going to be missing Herbie Farnworth this week. Now, Tom Flegler has been named for this one, but I don't expect him to play. We'll see. Felice Cafusi is out, and Kurt Donahue is out as well. Big outs for the Broncos. Adam Reynolds and Dean Mariner out for this one. Jock Madden comes back into jersey number seven. And Corey Oates moving to the wing rather than the interchange. Reese Walsh has been named as fullback. I know he's been training. This will be a last-minute decision. I think it'll be a big thing to play him. And I think it kind of changes the momentum of the game as well. I think he might play. I really do. But I can see them definitely resting him and giving him another week. But this is three weeks ahead of schedule based on the injury. Now, speaking about the Broncos... I know they lost against the Storm. I know it was a bit of a choke, but I still thought they looked really good. Ezra Mam, a couple of great tries there. Mariner injured, which is very unfortunate, but still some flashy attack, looking better and better as this season starts to go on. And then the Dolphins. I was a bit disappointed with the Dolphins. I thought they were going to go on with it against the West Tigers, but the Tigers really came to get them in that second half there. So, you know, they're sitting on top of the ladder. They're getting the wins, but I think they can be playing better. And that's why... I think the Broncos win this game. I can see this being a very, very tight contest, like a six-point kind of margin. I'm going to go with the Broncos by 10. I think this will be one of those games where it's neck and neck, and then the Broncos just kick away and maybe score two tries in the last 12 minutes to kind of seal the game. Um, I'm going to go with someone who loves scoring against the Dolphins. I'm going to go to Tony Staggs from the Broncos to score first for this one. I think it'll be a good contest at Suncorp, but I think that the Broncos should be getting the win. Next up, we head over the ditch as the Warriors take on the Manly Seagulls at home. The Warriors, a great win over the Rabbitohs, 34 points to four, almost putting 40 on the own side at home. And I would think it was their first win uh, at a core in, I think, about... I think it's been a long time. I won't guess, because I know people hate in the comments. I've seen you go, no, you're wrong about that. So I won't guess, but I was going to say about... Seven, eight years, something like that. And then for the Warriors, Bunty Afoa is out. Kurt Capewell has been named to start in the back row. Dallin Wateni Zalesniak comes on back on board into the side as well. Adam Pompey has been overlooked, put on the reserves for this one. Charles Nickel Clockstad at fullback and Roger in the centres once again. As for Manly, Ruben Garrick is out, so that's a big out there. I thought Brad Parker might be named in the side, but Corey Waddell comes into the starting side, and Ben Trevojevic gets moved to the centre. So, interesting one there. Now, Manly, they looked like they weren't going to do much against Penrith early on, and then Manly just got the job done, got that milestone for DCE. The struggle for Manly this year is their away footy. But they're playing that kind of, we're coming to get your footy. You know, the score doesn't matter footy. But as for the Warriors, although they haven't been amazing this season, their attack has still been very good. And in front of the home fans, they should be getting this win. But I'm going to tip Manly here. I haven't done this all year because I have gone against my gut. And this is one of those tips I don't expect anyone to tip Manly. But I'm going to tip Manly. I'm going to go Manly to win. 
30 points to 26. We're going to see plenty of points in this game. I do think that the Warriors are going to score first. I'm going to go Charns Nickel Clockstad to score first in this one. The fullback from the Waz, Manly to win by four. And my anytime try scorer, who I'm going to have a bit of a sprinkle at scoring a double. I reckon expect a massive game from Hamole Olikalatu to score a double. And I think the Sea Eagles get an upset win over the Warriors. Oh, do I want to talk about this next game? It is the Parramatta Eels taking on the Cowboys. Now, the Cowboys, wow, nearly blew the game against the Titans. A game-winning intercept from Kyle Felt and a field goal to seal the deal there. But they, they, they're struggling in defense. They haven't convinced me, even though I had them in the top four, really worried about them. Great attack, leaking a lot of points per game. But this Parramatta side, they're not scoring points. They've lost about 10 points on average per game without Mitchell Moses. Massive boost this week in the uh, second row with Bryce Cartwright coming back. Mike Acevo has been dropped. I will speak about this on the Talking Para podcast, but I tell you what, this had to be done. I would have been very disappointed if he was in the side. And Simonson moving back to the wing from the centres with Morgan Harper coming in. I thought Blaze Talungi might be there, but Blaze's defence has not been great the last two weeks. Great game against Manly, but hasn't been able to back it up. And that's why I think he had his shot at first grade. And I think this is actually a good decision. I do. I back it. Dylan Brown has been named at number seven, but I would like to see our number six, Dejan Arce, this week doing more of the kicking. Regan Campbell-Gillard has been named, but I believe he will face a suspension. And this will probably put Joe Offerhengawi to start and maybe Wudamu Greg or Makatoa onto the bench. Maybe Makatoa, decent game in New South Wales Cup from what I saw, but... We will see what happens there. Uh, Benches, Talangi, uh, Offengawi, Madison, and Moretti for this one. And then uh, on the reserves is Talangi, um, Wurmu, Greg, Makatoa, and Sivo, who has been dropped. Now, the Cowboys. Jake Clifford is most likely going to come in as Chad Townsend will probably face a suspension. Tom Chester has been named in the centres because Zach Labart has a ACL injury, so that's very unfortunate for him there. This is going to be such a tough game containing players like Scott Drinkwater, uh, Tom Dearden, players who have a license to run. Great attack there and great forward pack as well with uh, Taumalolo, uh, Finufuaki, Kota, Nanai. Very tough game. Probably have to bounce back here for Parramatta off two straight losses or we could be in for some really, really tough weeks. Expect a high scoring game. I'm going to tip Para. I'm going to tip Para here. I don't think many people will, but I think at Combank, and I think this bounce back factor, and I think the fact that changes have been made is going to scare the living shit out of the team. The team are going to be going, you know what? We can't just get our spot anymore. We have to earn it. We've now lost two in a row. This is it. Parramatta to win, 24 points to 20, a four-point win over the Cowboys on Saturday night. I tipped the Raiders last week. I tip against Parramatta when I think they're going to lose. I reckon they bounce back on Saturday night. I really do. And I don't mind this team lineup to do it at all. My first try scorer is Morgan Harper. He's going to prove everyone wrong, have a big game against the Cows. And I'm actually going to back another Eels try scorer, another one to silence people. I'm going to go with Dylan Brown, although I don't think he is a seven. He gets a lot of ball, and I reckon he'll cross over for a try in this match. It's going to be tough. The Eels to beat the Cowboys by four. It is the South Sydney Rabbitohs, and they are taking on the Sharks. And my gosh, there are some changes that I'm very concerned about. Now, a good change, Jai Gray coming in to fullback. I believe it is his NRL debut. Uh, yeah, that's really, really cool. Tyrone Munro coming onto the wing as well for Alex Johnston. Uh, I forget who was there last week. I think it was Isaac Thompson, actually. Yeah, Isaac Thompson. Um, great to see Tyrone Munro back there. Um, Cody Walker and Hawkins still named in the halves for this one. Peter Mamazellis coming into jersey number nine. It's great for my super coach. But what is Jason Demetrio doing? Damian Cook is making 40 to 50 tackles per game, missing one to two tackles per game. I just don't understand what you are doing. 
and you're taking the piss right now, mate. Jason Demetrio, it's coming to an end, guys. It's coming to an end. He will not be there in a few weeks. I guarantee it. I made a video on the Rabbitohs and their season, and I dead set think this team is going to be fighting for the spoon because they have to make changes, and these changes... How the hell has Talis Duncan been dropped? I don't understand this team at all. Whereas the Sharks, they get Braden hammond Ueli back via the reserves. Talakai has been named on the bench with Nia Cora back from, I think, suspension. I don't think he was injured. I'm pretty sure. Just trying to see here. Yeah, Nakora back from suspension there. I think the Sharks win. I think that the Rabbitohs at home, they have to keep it close. They have to score more points. But seriously... Their attack is going to struggle here with players out of form. I'm going to go the Sharks to win 28 points to 16. I could see a 13 plus. I'm going to say 1 to 12. My first try scorer, I'm going to go with the Sharks winger, Sione Katoa, to score first. And I believe that Jai Gray in his NRL debut just might cross over for a try at any time. But I don't see the Rabbitohs winning this game. And I think Jason is on very thin ice. Oh, this is a tough game to tip. It is the West Tigers and the Dragons. I think this game is at Campbelltown, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I can't see a ground here. But anyway, as for the West Tigers, Brent Naden is out. John Bateman out. Latu Fainu and Samuel Fainu out for this one. Uh, Asu Kapoa has been named via the bench. Justin Matamua has been named via the bench. Alex Twile and Jake Simkin. I don't think I've seen Jake Simkin's name in a while, but I could be wrong there. I feel like it has been a while. Alex Seifarth has been promoted to the starting side. I've liked what I've seen from him in recent weeks. And Patape, all of them in the centres. like what I've seen from them as well. And then for the Dragons, they look mostly unchanged, but Ben murdoch Masilla has been named as the 18th man. Um... So I think I think it's pretty much the same side. Hame Sele has come in to jersey number ten for this one as well. After so Jack DeBellin uh, and is back to the bench. Michael Mollo out. So this is tough. I can't get a read on these teams this year. Um, the Dragons, especially away from home, I think are kind of struggling. Got a good win at Wollongong there. Um, struggled against the Newcastle Knights, but I don't blame them too much in those poor conditions. Now, I thought Sloan was going to the wing, Lomax to fullback, which still could happen, and they're playing mind games with the Tigers here. It's a very 50-50 toss of the coin game, but mentioned it earlier, I'm going to tip the Tigers by four. The reason I'm going to tip the West Tigers 22 points to 18, because it'll be high scoring, is because the Tigers are playing that kind of never give up mentality. Normally this team would get blown out 40 to 12 or something like that and score a late consolation try. But they're not scoring late consolation tries. They're going on a run. They're getting together and they're saying, you know, we can do this, we can make this closer. Just like that game against the Dolphins last week. Just like that Parramatta comeback a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, I'm going to go the Tigers by four points. Tight game. First try, I think the Dragons might score first. I think they have some points in them as well. So Jack Bird is my first try scorer. But the West Tigers to win this one by four. Final game of the round, we'll see the Canberra Raiders at GIO Stadium taking on the Gold Coast Titans. Now, Jordan Rapana is out for an extended period of time. I think about five to six weeks. Chevy Stewart will come in at fullback. I'm... Not sure if it's his NRL debut. I feel like he has played before. And great to see Trey Mooney coming back into the side as well. Hudson Young and Hosking in the back row. It's a nice back row there with Atta Moriota going back to the bench. As for the Titans, Alofian Khan Pereira has been named via the reserves, um, but still not named in the starting side ahead of Jojo Fafita and Harley Smith Shield. I didn't get to watch the game between the Cowboys and the Titans. I just saw what was happening while I was there at GIO, but apparently they were very competitive and they were playing, you know, we're coming to get your footy. They put on 22 points as well, which is impressive in recent weeks by the Titans. And I, three weeks ago, had this game as the Titans' first win of the season. So, yeah, I've got money 
um, on that game being the first win of the season for the Titans. But the Raiders, a great win in front of the home fans. They'll want to back that up. Solid team named, a lot of speed around the park against a poorer Titans defense than Parramatta's defense, in my opinion. Titans still leaking a lot of points. I'm sorry, Titans fans. I think you'll keep it respectable. I think everyone's going to go Raiders 13+, plus, Raiders 13+. plus. But I think that the Raiders will find a way to win what will be a gritty game. I don't think it'll be the most entertaining game, unfortunately. But I'm going to go the Raiders by 12. I'm going to go the Raiders to win 28 points to 16. I'm going to go back-to-back weeks. First try scorer will be Sebastian Chris. And I think that AJ Brimson will score a try. Not passing it. He'll score one this week. And uh, the Titans, unfortunately, will be 0-6. But they are knocking on the door of a win. This is one I could see them pulling out of the hat. It's a very big danger game, but I think that the Raiders will win. There we go, guys. Those are my tips for the weekend, my tips and try scorers. Hopefully a better weekend. I feel like I'm either going to get 3 out of 8 or 8 out of 8. So let's see which one of those it is. Big game for Parramatta on Saturday. I will be there at Combank Stadium. Make sure you like this video. Let me know your tips in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And once again, check out TBC Live. And I'll see you guys on Saturday.